What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out the differences between the brand new Poco F4 and of course the Xiaomi 12. Out of the two devices the Xiaomi 12 is the more expensive device. Alright, so let's start by checking out the boxes and see what comes in the boxes for both devices. Alright, so in the boxes everything is pretty similar. We have the user manuals, we have a clear case for um, each device, we have the USB-A to the USB-C cable and we also get um, 267 watt um, fast chargers. So both devices charge equally fast. Now inside the Xiaomi 12 we have a 4500 mAh battery and um, inside the Poco F4 we have another 4500 mAh battery. So both devices charge from 0 to 100 in about um, 40 minutes, 39-40 minutes I'm gonna say. So pretty similar charging for both devices since we have the same 67 watt fast charging and the 4500 mAh battery. We even get pretty similar screen on time from both devices. I was able to get about eight hours of screen on time from both of them. Now the Xiaomi 12 has a more powerful CPU. So we have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 inside the Xiaomi 12. Where inside the Poco F4 we have the Snapdragon 870. So technically the Xiaomi 12 is the more powerful device out of the two. However, for this particular test that I've done, I had both devices connected to Wi-Fi and I played a bunch of um, videos and I also took some pictures, but fairly similar screen on time from both devices. So about eight hours for this particular test. All right, and since we are talking about the CPUs inside these um, two devices, I said with the Xiaomi 12, we get the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, where with the Poco F4, we get the Snapdragon 870. And on the Antutu benchmark, these are the scores that we get. So about 950,000 for the Xiaomi 12 and about 700,000 for the Poco F4. Now the Xiaomi 12 we also have 8 gigs of RAM, so this particular model has 8 gigs of RAM, you could also get this with 12 gigs of RAM, but with this Poco F4 I only have 6 gigs of RAM, however I could get this with 8 gigs of RAM. But technically yes, the Xiaomi 12 is the more powerful CPU. Now for day to day usage I haven't noticed any difference in performance, I've only noticed that the Xiaomi 12 gets way hotter whenever you're doing anything. So if you're playing a game the Xiaomi 12 will get way way hotter compared to the Poco F4 and after a while the Poco F4 does perform better because it is not as hot. So keep that in mind even though the Snapdragon 870 is a lower performance CPU I'm gonna say in the Poco F4 because this one doesn't get as hot you can actually get more playing time from the Poco F4 when compared to the Xiaomi 12. So the Xiaomi 12 does get extremely hot. We also get faster reading and writing speeds for the internal storage in the Xiaomi 12. So of course you will notice a difference if you're copying some files from the phone to the computer or stuff like that. Maybe a bit of a difference if you're opening certain apps or if you're doing certain tasks on your device. So a bit faster on the Xiaomi 12 when compared to the Poco F4. Moving on to the screen, so the Xiaomi 12 we get a 6.28 inches AMOLED screen that has a 1080p resolution where with the Poco F4 we get a 6.67 inch screen with a 1080p resolution and both screens support 120 hertz. So fairly similar screens. Now the peak brightness on the Poco F4, so on the cheaper device is 1300 nits, where the peak brightness for the Xiaomi 12 is 1100 nits. So the cheaper device has a better screen in a way, I'm gonna say. Now the screen of the Xiaomi 12 is covered by Gorilla Glass Victus, where the screen on the Poco F4 is covered by Gorilla Glass 5. So technically if you'd be to drop the Xiaomi 12, well maybe the screen is not gonna break as easily as the screen on the Poco F4, but again that's debatable and it really depends how you're gonna drop um, the phone. But overall I would say that the Poco F4 has the better screen because it gets brighter and you can actually see it better in direct sunlight. And of course the Xiaomi 12 gets a curved screen, so I guess that gives the device a more premium feel and look I'm gonna say. 
where the Poco F4 we don't get a curved screen. Personally, I am a bigger fan of a flat screen, like the screen that we get on the Poco F4, than the curved screen that we get on the Xiaomi 12. I feel that you can do things much easier if the screen is flat. Design-wise, I feel that the Xiaomi 12 looks a bit better. We have more rounded corners, um, I'm gonna say, where the Poco F4 we get a more flat looking design. So maybe the Xiaomi 12 is the better um, looking device, depending who you ask, um, of course. They both have um, dual speakers, so we have one speaker at the top and of course um, one speaker at the bottom. And I guess next I'm gonna play a little bit um, of a recording just so you can hear how the speakers on both devices sound like. So in my opinion, the speakers on the Poco F4 um, do sound a bit fuller. So once again, I'm gonna say the Poco F4 gets the better speakers when compared them to the Xiaomi 12. With the Xiaomi 12, we do get an in-screen fingerprint scanner. Um, so some people may actually prefer this kind of um, fingerprint scanner. But with the Poco F4, we get a fingerprint scanner that's built in um, the power button. And I personally prefer that kind of a um, fingerprint scanner. It's easier to find. You don't actually have to look at the device um, whenever you're unlocking the device. So personally, I do like the fingerprint scanner that we have on the Poco F4. But I guess everyone is different and having an in-screen fingerprint scanner could look a bit more premium, maybe? Alright, so next we're gonna move on and check out the cameras on the back of the two devices. So the Xiaomi 12 we get a 50 megapixel main camera, where with the Poco F4 we get a 64 megapixel main camera. We also have ultra wide cameras and a macro camera on the back of each device. So I took a bunch of pictures yesterday with both devices and the main difference that I've noticed here, well, you can see that on the screen right now, is the fact that the Xiaomi 12 has the somewhat wider field of view. So you can see a bit more in those pictures taken by the Xiaomi 12 when compared to the Poco F4. Now, either than that, there isn't that big of a difference. For certain pictures, the Poco F4 does better. For certain pictures, the Xiaomi 12 does better. So for daytime pictures, if you have plenty of light, there isn't that big um, of a difference. I did notice a difference, however, for nighttime pictures. So as soon as it gets dark, and I'm talking about super dark places, the Xiaomi 12 does do better. The pictures are a bit sharper. They're also a bit um, brighter. They have less noise. With the Poco F4, you do get some more noise in those pictures. They do look not as sharp as um, the ones that um, I took with the Xiaomi 12. So for nighttime pictures, yes, there is a difference and the Xiaomi 12 does seem to do a bit better. Also for video recording, so I'm gonna play a little video recording that I've done with both devices. Um, the Xiaomi 12 does seem to do slightly better. The image stabilization seems to be a bit um, better and the overall quality of the video from um, the Xiaomi 12. So I'll let you guys watch um, that short recording that I've done just so you get an idea how the video recordings from the F4 and the Xiaomi 12 would look like. Alright, we have a quick video test between the Xiaomi 12 and of course the Poco F4. For this recording I'm using the main cameras on the back of the two devices and recording in 4K 30 frames per second. Both devices can also do 4K at 60 frames per second. So I'm gonna walk a bit faster just so you can see how the stabilization um, works if you're walking a bit faster of course. We're gonna stop somewhere around here. I'm gonna pan left slowly. So we'll stop here, we're gonna pan left. And back right. So yeah, this whole recording done with the main cameras on the back of these two devices would look like. Performance-wise, well, as I mentioned earlier, even though we have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 um, inside the Xiaomi 12 and the Snapdragon 870, so an older CPU inside the Poco F4, performance-wise, I haven't really noticed um, any difference. Both devices run MIUI 13, which is based on um, Android 12. 
So pretty much everything that you're gonna do feels equally fast on both devices. So I can't really say that one is faster than the other one. However, I can definitely tell you that you can play games more on the Poco F4. So you get a longer um, playing time on the Poco F4 when compared to the Xiaomi 12. The Xiaomi 12 just gets super extra hot and then um, the thermal throttling starts happening. Therefore, the Poco F4 is the better device, um, in my opinion, even though we don't have the most powerful CPU out there. Another small difference would be the fact that the Poco F4 doesn't get um, wireless charging, where the Xiaomi 12 does have um, wireless charging. Both devices have an NFC chip inside, and that means that you're going to be able to make payments um, with them as well. So there you have it, a super quick comparison between the Poco F4 and the Xiaomi 12. I figured that this comparison makes the most sense because both devices are some of the latest devices from um, Xiaomi and um, Poco. Alright guys, hopefully this video was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.